we're being joined by a queen like we're so gracious to have her in our midst today and she goes by the name um chika odili una udosen um, who recently won the title as the 12th Nigerian Queen 2020, a graduate of economics from the University of Nigeria, Onsuka. She is a trained and licensed cabin crew person personnel. She is not new to the world of pageantry and has the following titles, uh, Most Beautiful Girl in Nigeria, that is Most Beautiful Girl in Nigeria, Echo Wasp, hmm, big, right? Miss Africa, Calabar 2017, Top 15. Miss Earth, Nigeria 2018, emerged as uh, Miss Earth, Nigeria Water, ah, ah. Miss Nigeria 2019 top 15 like whoa she is definitely a queen and ladies and gentlemen make welcome the 12th Nigerian queen 2020 <laughs> Sam Hi. Good to see you. Thank you you actually so deserve well. the crown. You're actually more beautiful. The massive person, crown, you know? like, actually. So yeah, big. the massive crown. Oh, I can't you. even see. I wish I wore my dark shade. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, though? It's good. good to have you here. Good to have you on the show. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, so enlighten us. You know, people say the Nigerian queen and they all miss Nigeria and they are confused and like, what's going on in that space? What trend is the Nigerian queen? Which trend is Miss Nigeria? Tell us. Oh, uh, okay. I get that a lot too. Mm. Uh, so Miss Nigeria is actually um, a platform or a franchise that has actually been owned by, I think, Daily Times. Mm. It actually came out before the Nigerian Queen. The Nigerian mm. Queen is just a new pageant. In fact, mm. this is soft year, mm. right? So it's a protocol based pageant. It was just mm. held recently in Lagos mm. on the 27th of November. Is that the first time they're coming into Lagos? Yes, exactly. Right. So it's the first time they came to Lagos. But it has always been held in protocol. That's why it has never been held this mm. much. So right now, I'm just trying my best to Push put the out. word out there yeah. yeah because i saw sorry sorry i know i know you have a lot of <laughs> questions for but i saw it uh where um before they crowned you the winner and um the whole store um the uh, moderator said um remember yes. if you did not do your duties the <laughs> second runner-up will become the queen so is oh, that wow. why you're putting in so much work to make sure that no one else takes your crown no not really i feel mm. like if you do something that is out of the rules and regulation of the organization that's when mm. you're going to be taken out i don't know what if you're not doing enough have, hmm? no if you're not doing enough it's not i think they're the ones when you won't be doing enough for me yeah. not me mm. and how are they doing so far oh they're doing good Right. Great, you're very right. good in if packaging I take us and away. branding. <laughs> right. yes. um, I saw that you, you know, you have quite a lot of awards and yes. stuff. And most every time I watch that show, they're all beautiful. I mean, women are actually got to this time. <laughs> yes. So beauty is not the only thing, which you are, of mm. course, but it's not the only thing. And I want to hear from your from your mouth, like from the horse's mouth. Why do you think you get crowned so many times like that? Like, what's that thing about you that makes you stand out? That they're like, I like this and I want you to represent. Because it's kind of like an ambassadorial type of relationship. So You mean as a queen or you mean during my different awards or something? Yes, as a queen. Like, why do you think they actually give you the I say, there you go, take this award, this is yours. Why, what do you think? Do you, you think you're use? doing right? Yeah. All right, first things, I think the organization would want to work with somebody that's very easygoing. Mm. Mm. Somebody that will actually push out their brown. Somebody that will actually call, oh, I need you now, I need you now, and mm. you're here, mm. right? And I think it also boils down to your attitude mm. and your personality. Attitude, I like that and one. Yes, yeah. So that's just it. Mm. So All for right. your easygoing, your attitude, and your personality, you're good. Okay. All Do right. you think that that space is um, healthy? If that makes sense. What space? Because, um, the beauty pageant space, like behind the scenes, like away from the organization and actual competition, like that space. Because I know, like with Big Brother Niger. Um, this last season, the beauty space was talked about a lot because we had two people who mm. had run on there before, which we had never really seen with the Big Brother Niger housemates. Um, I know they had a lot to say. They were always saying, oh, I met you in this competition. I met you on this yeah. place. So I want to oh, know, Negi like, and yeah, Negi and Erica. Mm. So yeah. I want to know, like, behind the scenes, is it actually like, and I know our women, so is it actually like a beautiful environment behind the scenes? Is it something that you encourage other ladies if they're looking at you thinking, oh, I have the attitude that you mentioned. I have the easygoing personality and I'm beautiful, I'm tall. Unfortunately, I'm not thought. <laughs> but you know, I, you know, I have all those things. Um, do, would you encourage just anyone who has all those things to go to that industry? First off, I think everything we do in life is about your passion, right? You mm. wouldn't be sitting down here, if I'm an FA, if you mm. don't have the passion to present. Mm. So I feel like I'm if you are actually, but it's okay, you're a queen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So I, I feel like if you have the passion to do whatever you want to do, mm. you should. Now coming yeah. to your question, right? A beauty pageant is a very healthy space. Mm. Right. I've been here and you should have asked me why have I always been 
on it continuously. Mm. Because right now, this is not just the first. This is actually the sixth try oh, wow. for me before getting this, right? Okay. So if it was not as healthy as you think, you I wouldn't be running. Yeah, right. do you understand? Right. Yeah, so I feel like it's, it's actually a platform that's actually lifted us to be ourselves and be something in the society. You said six times. Yes. Well, let's talk about that. Yes, if you want what, to. What, <laughs> key, what, why, why, why did you want this so badly? I mean, I by like, the third time, know. usually people are I really don't know. I just felt like there was this purpose that I needed to fulfill. Mm. And I think I have because it's all about you trying once and you give up. Mm. But I didn't want to give up. I wanted to push harder. Mm. Because right now there's something down to my name, the right. consistent queen. Yeah. Mm. I now become, or I have become an inspiration because mm. I feel like once you just try once, it's all. Yeah. That's all. But I didn't. Was there I didn't, anything? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't just say no because I don't know why. But I just saw myself so, get, so, keep so on so going. What's, the, what's the plan? What well, What is the future? Now that you have this, you sound like a go getter. You yes. Mm. You, you You give me this vibe of someone <laughs> who has. Um, Things to do on the wall, like and I doesn't want take to no for an answer. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm, coming again. I'm coming back. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's the next thing for you, right? All right, so I did, like I said, I think I had a purpose. Mm. I actually wanted to work on the international stage, mm. right. which I got. Mm. Yeah. So, I'm going to be presenting Nigeria at the Miss Grand International. Okay. Yes. Congratulations. Happening in Venezuela. Nice. It was meant to take place this year, but because of the whole COVID, COVID. so mm. it's going to be happening next year. Mm. That's first thing on my agenda. And then, most importantly, as a woman of the Earth, mm. I love the earth and I love the environment. Water, to be precise. Yeah! <laughs> Mommy, water spirit. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, no, right now it's actually a general case. Yeah. So, for the fact that I love the earth, I would love to um, um, go hand in hand with the state government mm. because I'm from Aquaibum nice. to actually uh, combat the effects of climate change in our environment. Nice. Nice. And also, I'm a licensed cabin crew, so yeah. I would also use this platform to. to Venture mm. into you have your plans. I oh, like yeah. that. All right, so yeah. um, um, guys, this is not me. Because <laughs> we had a chat behind the scene before the show started. Said, is there anything you want to stay with? <laughs> she said, no, let's just talk. <laughs> let's talk about anything. Okay. So I know a lot of men when they see beautiful, successful, tall men and um, tall women like mm. you, they get intimidated, and then um, you see a lot of women. Uh, okay, don't let me say a lot. I don't want to mm. generalize it, but you see a lot of women that will say, okay, because I'm successful, because I'm rich, because I'm beautiful, because I'm tall, um, you don't get men to, that walk up to you to say that, oh, I like you. Like, is, is that the same thing for you? I think so. Mm. It's, it's quite, yeah, it's quite difficult for you to have these people come up to you because they feel very intimidated, mm. right? So it's actually so I have when a lot they self confidence. Yeah, so it's actually when they get, <laughs> actually when they get close to you and they tell you, oh, you're this, you're humble, you're kind. Mm. I wanna ask you the question. What why were you exactly? So why was it difficult for you? Exactly what you said. They would say, oh, because of your height, they feel like you're too tall, you're too beautiful, and they might actually get snobbed. Mm. Oh, wow. Time. Yeah, so hey. I do get that. So it's All right, so um, are you That's in a relationship? Uh, that question, I prefer not to answer it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we, know, we know what it means when they say I prefer oh, not to answer it. No, you don't know anything. Okay, I, I, I'm think, sorry. I, I, think, I think we do. It's just a thought. Yeah. Um, but I, I want to know more okay. about your personal life, away from <clears throat> being a queen, when you're yeah. not a queen. Um, what would you say is that major difference between the queen personality and then just the home girl at home? What's that, what's that major difference? Oh, hmm. What's that major difference? Family. Mm. For me, yeah, family. Mm. Family and friends. Because I feel in this life, no matter how much we think it is that hard, I feel we need family and mm. they've always been there. So right. family. family you, know, you know Bruno Mars, right? Yes, I do. You know that song? Today I don't feel like doing, doing anything. anything. <laughs> I just work. Okay, so when you're in that vibe, Take uh -huh. me through your day, you know, no clown, nothing. Okay. You just want to what? Take me through that day of yours. I will, you I will take you through. Why not? Why not? So, um, first thing, I do have alarm for everything in this life. Oh wow! Um, everything I want to do. So I wake up by six thirty. I say my morning prayers. Mm. That's aside the crown. Oh. Mm. Then seven o'clock, I hit. I go straight to the gym. Mm. Um, by nine o'clock, or before ten. I do, I have my bath and do my personal development. Mm. I'm also a forex trader, so I trade too. Oh, mm. wow. Within Money <laughs> speaking. Yes, mm. so I trade too. So within um, from 10 to 12, I trade. 
Um, then from 12 to 2, I eat. <laughs> <laughs> when you say eat, what do you eat? I eat though, um, anything that is not uh, fattening, no carbohydrates. So I do more of vegetables. Oh, um, wow. Yes. Nice. Yes, so that's it. So I eat and I rest a little bit. The brain needs to rest. Mm. Yeah. Um, so when I wake up, what else? If I'm meant to go out, I go out. If mm. I'm meant to do anything, I do anything. So that's just it. Well, you See, a I got my answer finally. What? There's no man in the old. Ah! <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't even have gotten it like that. You didn't ask the correct question. That's me. You wanted to get it. Would you rather Netflix or a book? Uh, Netflix. I'm not mm. a book person. I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm a book person. Mm. Would you rather the cinema or watch sit home and watch a movie? Mm. Sit home and watch a movie. Oh, yeah. You like you like being in the house. Would you yeah. rather cook or go to a restaurant? Cook. Oh. My my, my tummy is quite sensitive. Oh. Would you rather oh, listen to hip hop or R and B? Um, hip hop. Okay. Would you rather dance at a party or just egg on your friends like go girl? <laughs> Go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's been amazing having this yeah. chat with you. And um, tell us, um, for people who, you, like, you already gave us a few things that you're up to. You know, yeah. shed more lights on the 12th Nigerian Queen. What benefits, what doors are they open for you and all of that? So just give us a glimpse into your oh, life Like right I said, yeah. um, first of the international platform. Right. Um, I get to drive my own car. Okay. Mm. Um, crash prizes, too. Mm. Um, plus rebranding and... Mm. All right, so for any like young that. girl out there watching and just really inspired by your story, what would be your advice to them? Uh, never stop working hard. Mm. Like, never give up on your dreams. Oh. You see, when you see your dreams are not valid, they're actually 100% valid. Mm. If you believe in yourself and if you believe in that hustle, keep at it. Mm.